Hi, my name is Joshua Ari Vandereet, and I am an attorney with Benjamin L. England and Associates. In this video, we intend to provide a brief introduction to FDA classification of medical devices. This is the second in a series of videos which will delve into the many issues that impact medical device regulation. In order to understand which United States laws apply to your medical device, it is essential to understand the device's classification. The medical device classification system was created by the Medical Device Amendments of 1976, which established three different classifications of medical devices, depending on, as FDA states, the degree of control necessary to assure the various types of devices are safe and effective. In other words, how much control FDA needs to have in order to keep consumers safe. Class one medical devices present the lowest risk to consumers and generally speaking, can be marketed without a pre-market submission to FDA. Examples of class one devices are stethoscopes, bandages, tongue depressors, and dental syringes. Although these devices can be marketed without a pre-market submission, regulations called general controls still apply. For instance, manufacturers of class one medical devices are required to register and list their devices, comply with good manufacturing practices, and of course, the product must not be adulterated or misbranded. Class two devices represent a moderate risk to consumers. Generally speaking, manufacturers of class two devices are required to submit a 510K pre-market notification before they can market their device in the United States. 510K submissions are unique in that they prove that a given device is substantially similar to another device that is legally being marketed in the United States. Examples of class two devices include powered wheelchairs and some pregnancy tests. Manufacturers of class two devices are required to comply with both general controls and special controls. Class three devices represent the highest risk to consumers and are usually uh, devices that sustain or support life, are implanted or present potential unreasonable risk of illness or injury. Manufacturers of class three devices are required to submit a complete pre-market submission, also known as a PMA, uh, which oftentimes includes clinical data. If you are a manufacturer of a medical device, determining the device's classification is an essential preliminary step in determining what laws apply and how to maintain compliance. If you have any questions about how FDA might classify your device, please contact Benjamin L. England and Associates. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful day.